sort of that with memories, but I'm going to improvise and change the uh, And also, how do you feel about rapid, rapid induction? Okay, great. Yeah, that's good. Okay, good. Um, do you think you could take up the classes at Adam Brett? Sure. Because I don't want to okay, pay ahead. for 500 dollars classes <laughs> later on. <laughs> <laughs> Before we start, are you a karate master? Uh, are you? <laughs> okay, then I'm well, not Keep in mind that I can't see your face oh. or something, so don't worry about it. Okay. Okay, so let's practice that so there's no shock. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull your hand, right? And I'm going to go like this. Okay? So this is what we're going to do. Let's do this just. Something like that. Okay, so it's going to be very easy. When I do that, okay, I pull you forward, you're going to enter a deep, let's say a light state of trance, and then slowly as I use some deepness, you will enter a very deep state of trance. And you've been in hypnosis before many, many times. You induce trance for other people. So you know how to get into that state, right? Into a hypnotic, relaxed state of being. Okay, good. So what you do, I want to make sure you're sitting down comfortably. Feet on the floor. Okay. You just relax. Drop your shoulders. Take a deep breath. So as soon as you hold your hand, you will relax down. In about four seconds, you will enter a deep breath. Relax and trust. One, two, three. I'm going to say the word deep sleep. We're going to enter a deep breath. Trust. One. Two, three, deep sleep, relax down deeper, deeper as you relax your arm. Very good. I'll drop your hand on your knee. You will relax three times deeper. Very nice. Relaxing deeper. Good. Focus on that moment. And once you breathe in, allow the air relax you. In the moment, I will give you a signal, and that will be a signal for you to form an O, letter O, with your index and your thumb on your left hand. You will form that letter O when I give you a signal. I'll tell you what that signal is. You will take a nice deep breath. So breathing in now, in and out. Except that deep breath will be really, really deep. You will fill out your lungs, and at the point where you can't take any more air into your lungs, you'll, what you'll do is, okay, so that's very nice. That's perfect. You will form a letter O with your thumb and your index finger at the moment where when you cannot take any more air into your lungs. And when this, you, the pads of your fingers touch together, you will relax ten times deeper. And if you understand that, you just nod your head. And we'll do this a few times, and each time you do it, you will relax deeper and deeper into the hypnotic state of trance. You're going to feel more relaxed each time, better, and Okay, let's do that now. Take a nice deep breath. Deep, deep breath. And when you know you can't take air anymore, touch this. Good. And release the air. Release your fingers. Good. Deeper, relaxed. Feeling wonderfully relaxed. Your body's relaxed. Your shoulders relaxed. And I feel your right hand coming in the other. Maybe later. Just be aware of your right hand at this moment. Feel the relaxation in your right hand. Same relaxation allow it to flow into your shoulders and through your shoulders into your left hand and allow it to flow back into your shoulders and into your chest and your neck. And of 
good. Of course, remember that you have to have freedom right now if you need to stand or walk or scratch any part of your body. Sometimes you feel the little scratch and keep noticing that they're afraid. You feel like it's going to disturb those that are near you. But in trance, of course, no. If you need to move, this will only induce a state of trance even deeper. Deeper relax, let's do another deeper breath, this time we're going to go in. here, one, two, three, breathing in, and then the same way. You can't take any more air and allow the pads of your fingers to touch. When they touch, we will release the air and relax ten times deeper. Enter any time of your life, 
anytime you need to feel relaxed and calm, you can breathe this wonderful smile. Now, when you to think of your brain, you can still be in the surroundings, you can just listen to me, it's up to you, whatever you see in your mind. But as you listen to me, I want to ask you this. Sometimes it's easy to imagine different things. Did you really imagine? You use your great imagination, of course, you're a writer and you're a hypnotist and you create things. You write a lot at school, you write short stories of poetry, not that you're taking a poetry, um, poetry classes, courses, getting a degree in it. Your mind is constantly creating. Create this field this vast field, and that field will represent your your brain. And this huge, huge field has no beginning, no end. And there's a lot in that field. You have flowers, and there's, there's, there's something on that field. I can't tell you what it is, but only you know. Whatever you see in that field, that's your knowledge, all your memories your past, your present, your future, all your wisdom, all your experiences. And however you imagine it, it is totally your imagination. Only you know what it looks like. Maybe you see different folders or files or maybe some natural attributes. There are natural attributes which represent this knowledge, memories, wisdom, and experiences. Then take your time and really look at it. It is all beautiful and it's vast and huge. It is real life. Endless, beautiful life. Somewhere in that field, there is a special folder, a special file, which is responsible for you being writer, being that part of you which will help you to ride with energy, with ease. You will access that part of you as soon as you open the clock, but it will happen in a few, few moments. It will help you to be new you, new creative. Bernard. You will ride with complete ease. You will think less. Thoughts and ideas will come into your mind easily. You will write them down instantly. Whether it's poetry, whether it's writing short stories, or documenting, expository writing. Now look in that field you may, as you see that file. Perhaps it has a different color, something that's very different. It's distant, it is new, and it's time for you to access that file. So, look on that field, and as soon as you see that file, you may have to recall. Just give me a yes. If you not nod your head, just give me a yes, take your time. Put it this way for me to, I want to make sure you find that file. You can give me a yes with your index finger of the left hand. You can just lift it slightly as you see that file. It's, it's all imagination, of course, just play with it. You see, there is that file, it's locked. Very nice, very good. Thank you. Now, take that file into your hands, and it's locked. It is locked, but you can't have a key. Turn it over that file, and there's a key which is attached to that file. You can open it. This is your own resource, your talent. You will unlock it. So take that key, take it, turn it back facing you, and unlock it. One, two, three, unlock it. Good. When you're fully unlock it, just give me a yes for you. Just Keep back in the, in the back of that folder, wherever it belongs to. And 
is now open. You don't have to open the file. It will it will open itself when it's the right time. When you feel like writing. You now have abilities you've always had, but now they're open to you. Just like that file, you open it. Your abilities to write are improving. When you feel most creative, you carry a pen with you. Pen. You begin to write all your great ideas. Maybe you have a little journal at home, at work, at school, in your, in your bag, in your suitcase. Something that you use to jot down your ideas for a future book, which will be a great book, I am sure, with your knowledge and experience. Just picture yourself in the future, a year, two years, and maybe a few months from now. Sometime, future, near future, distant, we have the book published. And look at yourself. If you're signing it, if there's a line of people, get that autographed book. Maybe getting a seminar, talking about the book, your experiences. Look how far you've gone. See yourself in the future. Feel what you feel. Feel the pride inside yourself. Be proud of yourself. You accomplished that. You, you do great things. Helping people, spreading a new knowledge. That's that which is you. That what, what you know. You let other people know. People are enjoying the book because it's interesting. You have an excellent sense of humor that you put in it, maybe, along with knowledge and experience. Great. This is a great future, and you want that. So from now on, now that all your capabilities as an excellent writer are available to you, you have a great ability to write. You're an excellent writer, and you know that. You have an ability to have an automatic writing from now on. Ideas and thoughts pop into you and you write them down. You feel creative more often, more than usual. You write easily and with ease. You are an excellent writer. So Bernard, just repeat right after me. I am an excellent writer. I use energy to write. I think less. Very good. You think less and you write. And it's just so natural for you. Writing is so natural for you. And this, this last thing you say, writing is natural for me. Good. You are creative and talented from now on. New talents, which were probably dormant for a while, are now available to you. You are a great art writer. Okay. Now allow all this, what I've said, all these positive suggestions integrated in you. You will feel full of energy. You feel great as soon as you open your eyes. Today is going to be a wonderful day. It's a wonderful weather. You feel creative. Home. With a big smile on your face, feeling great. You can from 1 to 10, you can tell you, open your eyes, feel it. Full of energy. Just feel your energy circulating around you, come back. And when you awaken to today, each time you see a green color, green color, this will remind you that you are talented writer and the file is now open for you to be the best you as a writer. One, two, three, four. Going out slowly, slowly, gently. Five, feeling great. Energy circulating around you. Don't forget the green color. It will remind you. And 
five, six, seven, eight, nine. Feeling good. Your eyes feel refreshed. And sipping, bathing, a cold spoon of water. And number ten. Eyes open. 